You, you wonder why people in other nations hate our guts. You know, they look at us. They say, well, gee, you have a democracy. You get to actually vote in office the people that run things. So you do. You go and vote. And then these people run little under the table deals with the tyrants in our country and screw our lives up. And you wonder why they hate us. You wonder why these people hate us. Oh, well, gee, we can't, we can't understand why they would come over here and bomb two buildings. They come over here and bomb two buildings because we, the people, are responsible for the mess that our so-called democracy is causing all around this world. The oil tyrants and the political tyrants, these guys are a nightmare. They're all liars, thieves, and monsters. And we put them in power. We, the people, put them in power. And because some guy, some handsome brown man with a nice, cute little family gets up there and says, hey, I'm different, look at me, I'm going to bring upon change. Do you see any change? Yeah, I see change. I see my neighbors being kicked out of their freaking homes. I see my friends losing their jobs. I see me having to totally reorient my life so that I can exist. This isn't a life. This isn't a living. This is an existence that's getting worse every day. Hey, did you see? Gas has gone back up. It's gone up 30 cents in the last three weeks. What do you think it's going to be by the summer? How many of you own electric cars? How many of you bought a brand new car over the holidays? And none of them are electric. And people say to me, oh, you don't own an electric car yet. I can't freaking afford one. I'm so busy trying to keep gas in my gas guzzler and my home heated, I can't afford one. You know, Obama, you should have taken the $750 billion instead of taking it from the people who put you in office. You should be taking it and supporting factories that build solar panels and start putting them on every home in America. And instead of set, you Republicans saying, oh, we got to give everybody a tax cut of three to $500. You know what? If you put a solar panel on every home in America free on the $750 billion that you're just pissing away and put a solar panel on every home you would give everybody a three to five thousand dollar salary increase. Figure it out. If you're spending between three hundred and five hundred dollars a month to heat your home and some people more, what does that add up to at the end of the year? If you didn't have to pay a utility bill anymore, oh, the poor utility companies will go out of business. So fucking what? Crap, man. Americans talk about freedom. You got no freedom. You're a slave to the oil companies, slave to the utility companies, slave to these goddamn politicians who just keep throwing around all this, these buzzwords that make our heads spin. Change. The only thing that has changed is the color of the man sitting in the White House. hell is going on change ring the changes to ring a set of bells with all possible variations the only bells that are ringing between my legs these are bells that are ringing my balls hurt crap when's it going to end here's another word right across the page right across the page charge to charge, to load or fill. Well, they're loading, they're filling our asses up. Giving us a load of crap. To add up an electrical charge to a battery. Imagine that. An electrical charge. Electric cars. To give as a duty, a command, etc. To accuse, to make liable. Well, Mr. Obama, I hope that we hold you liable for every 
freaking lie that you're telling us right now. You don't care about the American people. Instead of filling out all these stupid bills and giving $750 billion to Wall Street, you should be giving $750 billion to the American public. It's our money. And it should be going on top of our homes in the form of a solar panel or in our backyards as a form of a windmill or in our driveways as a form of an electric car. Let's make America free. You want to save some money? Bring our goddamn soldiers home from around the world. Let these creepy other countries fight their own goddamn battles. I personally don't care if Iran has a nuclear bomb. I personally don't care. Who gives a crap? Give everybody a nuclear weapon. And maybe everybody will calm down. The hell. Put our soldiers around our borders. Anybody wants protection from the United States has to become a state of the United States. Our military should be protecting our people. To charge, to ask payment, to ask as a price, to record as a debt. You got a debt to the American people, Obama, Mr. Obama, because I don't call you President Obama, because you're not acting presidential. The woman from Ohio has bigger balls than you, because she told the people, stay in your houses. And that's what you should be telling the people. Not stay the course, because that's all you're doing. You bought into George Bush and Dick Cheney. You're staying the course. You're giving money away to, to the top people. The people are already got money. I don't know whether you realize it or not, man. You better start, you know, you should take your secret service and go sit in the local bars in local towns and talk to the local people. There's a revolution coming in this country, man. Better wake up. People are getting sick and tired of this bullshit. We put our trust in you. We put our faith in you. We put our hope in you. Do you know that people cried when you were elected, Obama? They cried. They cried. Tears. Real tears. They put their hopes and dreams in you. And you're selling us out. Just like every other stupid lying, cheating politician in the last 200 years of our nation's history. What the hell? $750 billion. God damn. And now we're talking trillions. It's, it's moving into the trillions. Two trillion dollars. Christ. Are you people for real? Hey, print me some of that money. Just print it up. Stimulus. Oh my God. I see on the faces of my friends who actually voted for you, they, you know, the, de the day after election day, oh my God. You thought that everybody won the lottery. The only people that won the lottery are the people you're writing $750 billion to. $750 billion. And that's just the number of banded rats. It's a lot more. And they go and give each other bonuses. Why aren't you sending the National Guard up to Wall Street, drag these guys out and kick their asses? They should be put against the wall and shot on the 11 o'clock news. Christ's sake, Obama, wake up. You don't care about us. You and Biden, you're just like Bush and Cheney. Yeah, change the name. That's all that happened. You changed the name. You changed the face. You didn't change our lives. Our lives aren't going to be any better. They're going to be worse. Get ready for 2009, man. Get ready. We're all going to be running out of money. We're all going to be paying higher gas prices. Ford, Chevy, 
Chrysler. They're all going to get bailed out. Everybody's going to be happy except we, the people.